Welcome back, viewers, to your AfterBuzz TV after show for Game of Thrones season, season 7, Episode 1, Dragonstone. It's been a long time, and we've got a lot to talk about, so stay with us. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. You guys are like my dysfunctional Stark family that I haven't seen in years. I love it. Oh, this is great. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Kyle Maddock. I'm going to be your host for this little shindig tonight. I got this lovely wildling to my left. Hello, I'm Kristen Snyder. You can follow me on all the social mediums at Cinematic Escape. And I'm Dave Child. You can find me at MRDaveChild or DaveChild.com. Because my name's Dave Child. <laughs> Does the MR stand for Mr.? Yeah, it stands for Mr. Very good. And I'm Ryan Malady. Valor Magulis, everybody. You can find me at Ryan Malady everywhere. Thank you for coming back. Game of Thrones and all the fans. Uh, we also have someone uh, special sitting on the couch with us. Coming into the show, Woo! introduce yourself, Miss Chat Queen. Hi. Yes, my name is Amber Plaster. I will be your chat maester, and Ooh. I will be uh, answering any questions or clarifying any facts that the fans have because this chat is lit. It's so it's lit. lit. Yes. It's so lit. Where can they find you, Amber? You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Amber Plaster. Awesome. Sweet. Finding her right now. I, <laughs> <laughs> find me. Welcome, Amber. You're going to be with us all season, right? Yeah. Yes. Welcome yeah. aboard. Thanks. I'm super Good. excited to be here. Good to have you. Awesome, guys. It's oh. been a long time, and this show oh. did the thing it does at the start of every season. We just touch base with every single character. There are a lot of places to get to yeah. right now. Yeah, we need to kill some of these guys off, I think. Yeah, let's yeah. start killing some people. Well, well we if we're going to start so many. <laughs> <laughs> We've killed so many. Well, if we're going to start killing people, let's start with Arya doing what she does best. Mm. There you go. We have uh, a Walder like Frey impersonator kicking this off right now. <laughs> right. Um, do you guys think Walter Frey was alive for a second there? Or well, did you know what was going on? I thought it was yeah. a flashback. I thought it was going to be like, oh, this happened after the Red Wedding, some sometime after the Red Wedding, and then we're going to find out how this is pertinent to this season. But then, whoop, surprise, Mission Impossible. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, was, uh, there was that scene where he was eating by himself when Arya came to kill him. Right in, in the last season. Oh yes, yeah. and you're wondering, awesome okay, scene. Where did everyone go? This is post feast kind of thing, and uh, so he he's dead in this scene already, right? He's dead. And she he, carved him she up, made a pie. She invited of him. his whole house back after that <laughs> feast. Yeah. Because uh, when you leave one wolf alive, the sheep are never safe. Boom! 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 Man. I love it. What's cool, what I love about uh, Arya's new superpower here, she's kind of like a shapeshifter now, sort of, in a way. Yeah. Um, and you yeah. never know where she's going to pop up, which yeah. is going to, I feel like, create some really cool moments yeah. coming out in the show. Well, I think when the character's lines get really intense, that's when you're going to know that she's actually that person. <laughs> Right. I just I, her lines are always whenever she has taken on a new face they stand out more than anything in the episode in my opinion. Yeah, she did a great job as as Walter Frey. I mean, I, <laughs> it's just the makeup was so <laughs> amazing. They, she, re, amazing. She really Williams. looked like Walter Frey. <laughs> she just knocked it out of the park with that one. Amber, whenever you got something awesome over there, just feel free to. Yeah, I have the chat know. pulled up now, and the chat is very excited to have the show back. We are excited to have them back. Yeah. Thank you guys for being with us. So, yeah, let us know if you got any questions or anything while we are just talking up here. Um, so Arya's plan, she gets everybody poisoned. She slips some poison in the wine. We found right. out last season with uh, Lady Crane, the actress, that uh, she works well with poison. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a good uh, weapon a among woman, the assassins. A weapon, the sneaky, apparently. Uh, sneaky. Um, mean. No, it just means that this. <laughs> it is. Poison is supposed to be the woman's weapon because yeah. it's distance, yeah. right? So and we don't yeah. have the strength to like literally just beat a man to death. So we have to kill them with other things like right. poison, and, yeah. like, yeah. and your environment. Well, yeah. And even season one, Ned Stark said that to uh, to Maester Pycelle. Mm. And then he's, he's like, oh, I always heard poison was a woman's weapon, isn't it? Yeah. Well, basically he, blaming Cersei for for uh, for the death, which ended up being Littlefinger. Even as, the as it were. even the badass sand snakes who fight tooth and nail use poison too. 
So, yeah, there you go. and, and listen, there, guys, I have nothing dirty. against this poison. What do you got against I mean, women? be careful what you're drinking there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I mean, saying, guys, guys can use poison too. Is what um, I'm, I'm saying. using poison right now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. So, also, I don't think Brienne would ever use poison. For <laughs> here, here. <laughs> she's too pure of heart. She's too. She is a unique woman, that Brienne. I tell yeah. you what. But uh, yeah, so we have this epic moment she, where she is walking out. She she did not kill all the uh, the serving girls and everybody no. else. People who were not in on the murders and not the the frays themselves. Right. Well, they weren't allowed the wine, so I don't know that it was up to her or not. Well, they were going to take a sip, <laughs> and she's no, not for you. Well, that was also it was uh, a good cover. Yeah. yeah, that was Frey's wife, right? Mm-hmm. That was the lady. Which right? <laughs> that was right mm-hmm. next to him. The child next to him. The child yes. next to him. Wife. You got to remember yeah. that was his wife. Uh, and yeah. she was like, "Don't, don't drink it. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't drink Save that. Her. Yeah, very cleverly. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I don't waste wine on a woman. So we have her walking out uh, in this sort of epic moment. She's walking out through the all the dead bodies and everything. And yeah. then uh, we lose her for a little bit. But when we come back, we hear this beautiful, angelic voice. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, how's it go? Hands of gold. I know that's yeah. beautiful. That's beautiful. The nut. Let's just shape. bring him in studio. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Surprise. Ed. <laughs> Ed Sharon. I always mess up his last name. Is it Sharon? I- Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. It's definitely Sharon. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought he was actually a great addition because he he looks. Like a Game of Thrones extra, he looks yeah. like he's, he's he does not look like he's main cast. He's not that pretty to, to be main cast, but he Wait. looks like the person who would be like uh, just cast as an extra or just as a bit part. It, that so was it was great a, to have him. Yeah, yeah, that's Sharon. That was that Sharon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't catch that. That dopey young. looking redhead guy. I yeah. Immediately, yeah, he's yeah. got a very wow. recognizable face. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, do you think he wrote that song? No, Maybe. in the books they have those songs. Yes. Did, did they have that song? In the I, I think, think that they mm. were like, "Hey, professional singer, can you make this poem yeah. that yeah. George wrote sound good?" I Actually, think do you think they invited him, or do you think he uh, he was like, "Guys, I need to be on the show"? I think they probably invited him because I yeah. think he was like, "Oh, look, a, a ginger weird looking guy." Who would whoa, fit whoa. perfectly on this? He's a little. I'm He's weird looking too. Weird looking. I'm not saying I'm not weird looking. <laughs> if anybody here tries to pretend like that is a good looking man, come on. Yeah, oh, but he has Ed a Sheeran, beautiful voice. Come on, guys. No. Right. No. A beautiful, beautiful voice. No. All right, guys. So let's let's get off Ed Sheeran. We got a lot to talk about. I'm just here. saying he was so. perfect in this because it would <laughs> be weird. Perfect. What I'm saying is it would be weird if it's like, oh, hello, Justin Timberlake. That would be, weird. <laughs> that would be strange. <laughs> But for him, he's like, oh, he kind of looks like he. I'll just let you know that Braun is also a musician, a big old pop star. So we have we, it's not right, the, Ed Sheeran's true. not the first yeah, one. Yeah. So we've got this mm. group of Lannister soldiers that Arya comes across, yeah. and these guys are friggin' nice. Yeah. yeah. They're so yeah, nice, and I think don't you hate that? I think this is a bit Arya kind of being like, oh, wait a minute, hold on, I'm supposed to hate all the Lannisters. What's what's mm-hmm. going on here? Mm. She's kind of having kept, a little the conflict here. Kept showing uh, their weapons. To kind of give it the feel of that she's on her toes, yeah. She's eyeballing, yeah. and then and they're kind of catching her off guard with their kindness. And even me, when we were sitting there watching it, it was like this isn't going to end well. <laughs> they're they're talking about how they want to sleep with women, and then here one shows up, and they're like, "Oh, come by sit by the fire." <laughs> yeah, this is perfect. Gary, come on, have some rabbit. I didn't think it was going to end well. Oh, really? And I kind of thought they were nice guys. I thought they were a, maybe me all going to die. It took me a minute. <laughs> yeah. I thought maybe she was going to kill them, depending on what their response to, like, I'm going to go kill the queen. Mm-hmm. That's the line. Yeah, if they were like, oh, maybe you shouldn't, then, then yeah, cause she was she's kind be... of a Lannister, and <laughs> yeah. so, maybe, so maybe you should. Yeah. But uh, they la- there was only two options. Either we take her seriously and yeah. have to... D- you know, we have to do our jobs, or just laugh it off, or take her seriously and be like, "Good luck. I hope you do it." Yeah, that could be. That's the third option. Is like, Maybe. we really hate her. So, do yeah. you think they're gonna end up? Uh, we're gonna pick up with them kind of rolling together. No, nah, I think that's the last think, we're gonna see. I think she's. Mm-hmm. I think that's that was a nice thinking. little character moment where Arya got to visit with soldiers that were on the wrong side, that are on the opposite side to her, but she recognizes that there's hu- humans that just like fight for people who are bigger than them and that's just because what they say about uh what they say about why that one guy wants a girl instead of a guy yeah because a girl takes care of their their fathers fathers while the guys go off and fight other people's wars that's exactly what they're saying about themselves is we're fighting someone else's war it's not Mm -hmm. us this is just paying the bills so we have to do this and i think Arya recognizes that and in a way 
It's nice for Arya because she's the assassin. She doesn't <laughs> fight people like that. She goes directly to the people she's assassinating. Right. Mm. So she doesn't have to be like John or even or uh, or the rest of them and kind of have to fight the soldiers to get to the the bad guys. She yeah. goes directly to the bad guys. She's also, a, one, a one woman army. Yeah. They're all relatively young, and like yeah. we hear the hound say when they ask him why he's always in a bad mood, and he says experience. So they don't have you know who knows if they've ever killed a man. That group of young guys. It doesn't seem like it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't help but think about when was the last time she was in Westeros? It was during the War of the Five Kings and she was walking around with the Hound and everywhere they went people were just slaughtering everybody and soldiers were just killing everybody left and right and so yeah. all of a sudden now she's here back in Westeros comes across some soldiers it's, it's like, like the oh spring, man the it's so much different than the last mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. she had come across the soldiers in Westeros. Well yeah. she can handle herself now. She's She came back to a different a different person. You know she she walks up boldly and says, yeah, sure, I'll sit by your fire. <laughs> right. What are you going to do? About it? I love it. She Good is point. she yeah. is badass. Mm. Um, but before we go any further, guys, I just wanted to give a shout out uh, to the listeners and the viewers. Let them, uh, let them know who's sponsoring our show today. Oh, you mean all these lights and microphones? And there we go. Guys, we got to pay the bill somehow. I mean, Keep the lights on around hey, here. listen, the we got to fight other cool. people's wars. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the war we have to fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are sponsored today by The Sinner, a new USA limited series, Ooh. which follows a young mother, played by Jessica Biel. Oh. I love her. There you go. She's married to Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah, no, speaking of. There you, know, you go. You, know, you already mentioned I'm it already. Yeah. <laughs> nope. It's a story about, uh, well, it starts off while she's at the beach with her husband and her son. Her son she commits a startling act of violence, not mm. unlike Arya Stark. <laughs> um, but... She can't explain it. She mm. can't explain why she did this. Uh, there's a police investigator, and he's obsessed with uncovering her motive. And together wow. they discover a violent and shocking secrets hidden in her past. Tantalizing. Cool. It's it's kind of looking at the shades of gray, kind of like we do in Game of Thrones. Yes. That little between the moral, like lines. Absolutely. I watched I watched the trailer for this, and it looks intense. And if there's something Game of Thrones people know, it's intense. Intensity. <laughs> but um, this uh, this series also stars Bill Pullman, everyone's favorite alien hunting president, mm -hmm. right yes. there, and Christopher Abbott. So excellent from Girls, HBO's Girls. Um, oh. I, I'll, I'll check it out. The Center USA uh, premieres Wednesday, August second, ten nine Central on USA Network. Why not? Everyone? Check it out. It's not, it's not a Sunday, so I'm in. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone knows she did it. No one knows why. That's nice. Did you just make that up? <laughs> no, no, no. That's that, really good. You gotta let them know about that. That's a really good tagline. There you oh, go. Hey, so, it's based on a, a best-selling novel of the same name, which means you know it's good. It's well thought out. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. I mean, we love series based on based on books, don't we? Yes. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> that we do. The I'll, Sinner. I love it. Thank you, Awesome. Kyle. Check it out, guys. And uh, now, back to, let's go. Um... Can I ask one question about Arya before we move What's on? What's up? Yeah. So she says she's going to kill the queen. Do you guys, who have not read the books, mm. do you think she actually will Oh, we are beyond kill? the books. I, I can answer We're this, beyond <laughs> the books. Oh, okay, I mean, the only, the only thing that's in the book that might stop it is that second half of the prophecy. Mm -hmm. That says a little different about, kind of hints at what, how her death will happen. Mm -hmm. And that's the prophecy that, that that witch woman gives her. That was cut out of the show. So that's not, that second half isn't there. So they're leaving her death kind of open to many different people. While it seems yeah. like there's a certain group of people that might kill her in the books. Mm -hmm. Because of how they set it up. So Arya is definitely open to killing her, especially since she's on the list right now that, mm -hmm. that she still has. It's a very short list now. Yeah, it's yeah. getting shorter. It's Gregor, Cersei. Yeah. Is that the whole list? I think, I think Sir Gregor has charmed his way off that list. <laughs> he is a I charming man in his new suit of armor, huh? Yeah. Ooh, sexy. We will get to that. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> the, ma the mountain. Yeah. That, we're talking about the other Gregor. The Gregor Clegane is the mountain. Sandor yeah. Clegane. Yeah, we were talking about Sandor. We were talking oh, about Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. I think we're so charming, yeah. Yes. I'm so, getting all mixed meant, up uh, over I, I meant think, the hound. I don't think Franken Mountain's charming anyone no. these days. <laughs> Maybe Cersei. Uh, anyway, yeah. I hope that Arya does kill Cersei, but uh, for yes. some reason I don't think that she's going to be able to. I think she'll get there to do it. I think she'll be about to. Right. I think it'll be taken away from her. Though. I don't know. It feels like, shouldn't that be a Tyrion thing? 
I, I kind of almost feel like it, who's going to kill Cersei? Or a Cersei? Jamie thing. A I Jamie think Siri's going to Cersei is going to kill Amber, Amber, I think Jamie. Every, Anyways, I think Siri? everybody should just team up and But that's the chat. Who do you think's going to kill yeah. Cersei? Or if she's going to die at all. Maybe she'll win the Game of Thrones. <laughs> I don't really <laughs> I think, think she's that. going to die at the end of this season okay. I love by it. someone's hand. Right. <laughs> so while we're collecting answers for that, um, let's head up uh, far, far north beyond the wall. In a storm mm. of snow and cold, we have mm. the others. Some cold fellas. The walking dead. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe one one? We do, yeah. That maybe. Was, that was that, one one. I don't, I don't think, think confirmation? No. no, no, no. I don't think it was one one because I don't think so there's either. also, he's not the only giant there for one there was right. a two giants at least two giants with the uh, with the walkers and i think it's we see his face it doesn't look like one one to me yeah so i don't think it was and i also think i'd have to do a side by side comparison aren't they like but... much farther north on the on the wall because wasn't one one killed well, south of the wall yeah. well, one one was killed in at winterfell yeah he was killed at winterfell so there's no right. way he's hanging out yeah, way up you north. You know what? You're right. They probably the they probably buried him or burned him down. Yeah, there. they probably have like someone probably took his skull. Anyways, yeah. but like he's probably up there and making a suit of armor. So armor. not one, but okay. no, I don't think. So. <laughs> okay. But we've got a few giants there. We got a lot of undead folks. Uh, we had to show them they're coming. Winter's yeah. coming. And you but, know, it really is illustrated uh, a point when they showed all that was um what, i'll hold my thought what do you got i just wanted to say that the chat is coming up with some really great predictions for we got? death. <laughs> um overwhelmingly and this might be because i put it in their ear they're saying jamie we also have yeah. a few people saying that uh lady olena will kill her with a sand snake mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. um i like the snake. idea <laughs> of an actual snake <laughs> or maybe just one of the young women who poisons people um <laughs> and one of my favorite ones is jamie will kill her as Arya will kill her as Jamie. Uh, oh, I was like, oh, that's a good one. Good one. Yes. Yeah. That'll like. Okay, I'm on that good. boat. Yeah. The one, okay. the one, Who wrote that? <laughs> You're that's a good one, though. Yeah, we need to give them a shout out if you I find like out who it. wrote that I because that is a good one. that's what we're I'll going back with, and find for it. sure. Cool. That's a good one. Um, I was just gonna say, it, seeing that army of dead march up. Uh, it really made me realize, not just in that universe, but in also in also ours, there are many more people who have died than who are alive. Right. So the army of dead is, I mean, they got the numbers. You okay? It just gets bigger, man. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> is that, do you want to talk about this? The, what's the point of it all? <laughs> the thing about the whole zombie thing, man, the, the weaker you get, the stronger they get, right? Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, and I mean, it's, uh, it's a, also, it was a good... To touch base with them, so you kind of see the impending threat that's coming and coming in yeah. from the north. That little yeah. reminder. Holy check in. I love yeah. it. So uh, a, a little bit further south than them, but still up north, we have Bran arriving at Castle Black, and yeah. Dolores Ed saying, "Come on through, buddy." So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would find. <laughs> which is such a pivotal moment because do you guys remember last season? Um, the reason the Night King was able to get into the cave mm. that they were in because the Night mark. King touched him, gave him the mark on his wrist. And a lot of people theorize that, that now that Bran has crossed, crossed through the wall, that mark is what is going to let the Night King through. Right. I do have to say, in this one episode, there's one, there's one phrase that kept coming up throughout the episode that's just like, well, the wall's still standing. <laughs> well, the wall's still standing. It definitely came and up. And it kept popping up has. enough. <laughs> And it's like, and it's always stood, so no matter what, the wall's still standing. And I'm like, I, there's no way the wall is going to still be standing yeah. at the end of this season. I think that's like where we're headed. But yeah. We'll see. There was a lot of that. But that was an important scene. It was a short scene, but I think it's important that Bran went through the wall and they right. didn't mention anything about the mark, but I think they will. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, so uh, moving on from that, we'll go a little bit further south to Winterfell, yeah. where we have John saying, "Get the dragon glass." Looking we got, for that glass. We gotta need get that glass. Mm. Looking for that dragon glass. Getting that glass. And that, Samuel was like, "I, was about I got the glass, guys." Yeah. And we were like, "Where have you been?" <laughs> He's looking in the up library. Liquid. He's so surprisingly useful. I love him. Sam? Uh, Sam's my favorite. Oh, love it. Um, uh, so uh, we. I was gonna say that's the grossest sequence I've ever seen <laughs> with Sam and those. You're not gonna pots watch that and... later. Oh yeah, oh. Oh, the highlight reel is. Oh. I love how rhythmic it got. It got the like. I kind of wanted it to be. 
turn into a pop song after a while. Uh, I'm sure it will be shortly. Hey, it's Sharon! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Winterfell. You guys, you guys are like yeah. wrangling cats. I love it. Um, <laughs> I miss you guys. So, <laughs> Back to Winterfell. We got uh, John and Sansa, and Sansa's kind of like, oh, I don't know, John. I think I uh, got to step up here a little bit and say you're doing a little thing, some things wrong here. You know, mm-hmm. uh, I'm so sick of Sansa's attitude. I know I'm going to be hated across the board for this, but yes, I you don't, are. I don't care, man. She, Dude. she's annoying me, with, with her attitude. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. What and that she cool, is dude. mad that the 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 people who supported the guy that did such horrible things to her aren't being punished. Yeah, yeah. But there's there's ways. She's not wrong. She's, she's just totally annoying. Not. No. <laughs> she's not. She's not wrong. Yeah, she's just annoying. Like same thing with uh, with battles past. She chooses to speak up at the most inopportune times, and then right. when she has t- the time to say what's on her mind, she doesn't. And it's it's just like, Ugh, well, that's on, not true anymore. I think she's saying what's on her mind whenever she feels it. Right. And I think right now, what what would have been nice, I think what John would have appreciated more if it's like, hey, good speech. Can we talk for a little bit? And yeah. Like, <laughs> can, we, like, can we go yeah. to the next room? I just want to bring this up rather than being... Recess to my chamber for yeah. a second here. Let's talk about this. Because even said you yeah. demeaned me, and she said no, but I think she kind of did. She kind of did. She totally did. So, I mean, if they're not a team, how is everyone else supposed to get behind them? Right. They really have to seem like a team they, in public. Yeah, I agree. And I didn't... I What really bothered me was like, Sansa, look at how happy you're making Littlefinger here. Like, sh- oh yeah. Like that should be a sign that you're not going down the right road. If Littlefinger's like, yeah, that's my girl, <laughs> smiling kinda, in the shadows. Yeah, I think just be like, <laughs> oh boy, because it seems like she's well, she wanted, there's some puppeteering going on. I there. think she, I think she might have she wanted to give one of those houses to to Littlefinger. Don't you think? I mean, she was saying she wanted to give one of the Umbers or the Karstarks homes to. The People houses that jeez, Littlefinger has so many castles, or he's a lord of so many places right Was now. Is it the Vale, uh, the, uh, the Harrenhal? Harrenhal. Yeah. There you go. He wants. He doesn't need he's... more. <laughs> so, so who do you think she was sticking up for specifically? Just I think she else? was just. She just didn't want it to go to families that have betrayed them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. While like John was just talking about how well this is a new generation, and I'm not going to hold up to uh, their fathers. Which actually I think is a smart decision because that's how you breed. Um, kind of revenge fantasies and that's how you breed these like things of hate towards the Starks because they've taken away my family home this way they're like okay well we gotta so instead they're like hey he gave me my home but he took away my family because they mm. fought for the wrong side. Yeah. I mean, what it, you gonna do? It's not do? black and white. I know it's, it's tough. not black and white, but it's like it. I I saw what they were, what he was doing, and I kind of. Do you I think that's gonna it. come back and bite him? Maybe. I mean, speaking it, of it black and white, the chat is saying, "Did you notice that everyone's dressed in black this episode?" Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was great. I thought it was. It kind Almost of. Almost everyone. They're Even all, Danny. They're all mourning yeah. the phrase. And it also showed that winter. Winter is here. And it was, it's it's cold. winter town. So it's cold. Everyone's wearing their winter wear. And it just kind of seems like everyone's getting the into new that winter battle fashion. Mood. <laughs> yeah, I love Daenerys' winter fashion. There we go. That's great. Speaking of fashion, I mean, if you want to, can we? I, I, we'll get to the Red Keep, but everyone's dressed in Lannister armor now. No more uh, in Kingsguard. No more, I, don't, I haven't seen any... See? Well, there's no more king. No more church. So there wouldn't be a king's guard because there's no king. There's just a queen. So it, would, yeah. it wouldn't be the queen's guard then? Or? Yeah, I think that's what Mormont. I think that's what the mountain is dressed up as. Yeah, it's well, queen's guard. Well, the no, last time we saw these Lannister, guys, Lannister, Lannister uh, black. Uniforms. He's dressed all in black. I thought it was. He had like the Lannister colors. No, no I, I thought black. it was all black. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, I didn't think it was crimson. Mm. Crimson and it gold, black, is the but she was in colors. black too. I don't know, not a fashion show, not a yeah. <laughs> but uh, well, but I loved. I, I, I mean, I just think he had that good look of like he just looked like a, a mountain monolith, and he felt like he was matching the queen, so it looked like he was definitely with on the queen's side. You guys so are all in movie. black except for me. Guess I get thrown in the end. We got the better. <laughs> so then we get a letter from King's Landing uh, announcing, Cersei announcing she is the queen and that the Starks have to come down and bend the knee. Everyone yeah. does. Everyone must bend the knee. Or else. Suffer the consequences. Yeah. Yeah, like that's going to happen. It's <laughs> Take a time out from whatever you're doing. Yeah. Come Just come on up and <laughs> well, say what's up. This was interesting to see where Arya and John lie on that issue where John is like focused on the White Walkers and the fight above 
while uh, Sense is keeping an eye on the politics of the situation, mm -hmm. and also Cersei in the South. Which is, I think it's good that they both do it, and if they can learn to work together and still do that, I think mm. it'll be the best way to survive this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because if they're fighting just, you know, the dead and yeah. not keeping an eye on what Cersei's doing, that could come and bite them. And, and it bites. could hurt the dead fight, too, because exactly. if, if Cersei comes and defeats them, she's not prepared to fight the dead. No. So, come on. Come well, she, on. she has an undead. Yeah. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she's All of her one. children are gone. She's got one. I would like to see what Franken Mountain yeah. is like against the White Walkers, actually. Is there you he... go. Give him a flame sword and take them all out. Yeah. Or dragon glass sword, excuse me. There you go. I'm thinking the whites. The whites are fire. Uh, the others are dragon glass. Yeah. Okay. Fire we're, is... we're, we're coming up to fireman. So does Sansi that... admire Cersei? What do you think about that, guys? Yeah. That line yeah. kind of stuck out to me a little Definitely. bit there. Yeah, she she probably scared her a little bit that, that that hit so close to home when John said it. I think that was a dig for her comparing him to... Joffrey. Joffrey. Ooh, yeah. He was like, yeah, you know, you seem to like her a lot. Like he said that really subtly. Like he believed it. he didn't. He doesn't think she's evil. Mm. Yeah. No, and she doesn't think he's Joffrey. But they took a dig at each other, didn't they? Yeah. Um, Cersei is like the most powerful woman in Sansa's life. So right. I think there is a side of like, you you've taught me stuff. I think she probably like looks up to her a little bit to Definitely. to see what. A woman can do with such power, but at the same time, she's evil as hell. Yeah, because when so. she's not lying, when she's like anybody who's ever gone up against Cersei, she is murdered. She's taken him mm -hmm. out. She that's... understands the threat of Cersei, which is good. Yeah, and that's and always that's... true, until it's not. Same with Ramsay Bolton. Anyone who went up against him, oh, man. until it's yeah. not. So eventually, until that bloody woman. <laughs> so we got a little Tormund and Brienne there. Oh, <laughs> Tormund and Brienne. I love how she really gave it to Podrick whenever Tormund showed up. I mean, what was that? Come on. I also, <laughs> she wasn't looking. She she wasn't ready, and he just like hits her. I also love the torments. You're a lucky man. <laughs> it's like I would love to be hit by her. They're my favorite couple of all TV. They're yeah. my, they're the next Ross and Rachel. They're so not going to end up. They're together. already a couple too. Yeah, they're I great. love it. Uh, I don't know if they're actually. They're not a couple. Oh, yeah. they are to us. To us, they yeah. are. We just they're not. But you know, they haven't. They haven't actually gotten. The together. chat is saying Lady Mormont versus Cersei. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. I don't Lady, think anybody could beat Lady we Mormont. Just, we Lady just we just skipped over Lady world. Mormont, but she was amazing in this yeah. episode. Uh, she's my favorite. She's she turns, awesome. She turns everybody uh, from hey, screw this guy to King of the North. Yeah. yeah. After like one Silences little one everyone. little speech. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like she can yeah. emasculate any Lord of the North. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, like oh, I'm that. not gonna, I'm not gonna put, give a sword to my daughter, and then she's like, you what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, little mama, <laughs> I forgot you're a little girl as well. <laughs> she's like, the North is feminist, don't you forget yeah. it? And everyone's like, yes, okay. You got it. You got it. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. I love it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, speaking of Cersei, she's getting her floor painted. <laughs> um, <laughs> meanwhile, some mean, lady meanwhile decorated. at the Red Keep, uh, we got this awesome map of Westeros yeah. painting on the floor and gives us sort of like a little geography lesson mm -hmm. about, about I, Westeros here. I like that because it was also kind of her Dragonstone table. Like it showed that she wants to be on the same game as um, as um, Daenerys. When we kind of touch him with Daenerys, who's looking at that table at the end. This is kind of a nice piece in the beginning because it mm. looks like these uh, opposing queens. Yeah, right. but she's, uh, you can see how she sees the world totally beneath her. Steps she stands, on she stands Oof. on it. Mm. I mean, the symbolism there was, was huge. And, I, and that scene where she finally confronts her brother, her brother confronts her, mm -hmm. uh, was super powerful because you don't know how it's going to go. I've heard people theorize that Jamie was going to be the one to kill Cersei. Like, did you see the way he looked at her in the last season? He's nervous. He is, but I feel like that was finally, that tension was broken, and I think he's still on her side. Because as soon as he said, Dragonstone, it was clear that he had made his decision. He still stands by her. He, she's all he has. I don't agree. Way, I don't agree. That's the way it is. I think there's still tension there. I think there's still tension. Oh, there's still tension, because he like, made his choice. I think also, yeah, I think he did make a choice to stick with her, but I think there's a chance that he can flip still. Because oh, yeah, he's, totally. He is, like, kind of, he's lost his uh, moral rudder in a lot of ways, and I think the only thing he has to hold on to is Cersei, 
But I think once he kind of opens his eyes a little bit and looks around, he might end up changing his mind. He's always yeah. chosen Brienne. Tyrion over yeah. Cersei. Mm -hmm. That's always been his choice. I can't see him going back on that now. And he sees how mad she is, that she w was living her entire life for her children. They're all dead now. Right. And sh she's so easily let it go, it seems. Yeah. I love the, well, we're the last Lannisters, we're the last ones that matter. You only oh, count the ones still <laughs> standing. Well, think about... Um, what Cersei did, wh why did Jamie kill the Mad King? Because he was gonna burn blow them. up the yeah. city with right. wildfire. He walks in, and what did his sister do? Mm -hmm. Blew yeah. up part right. of the city with wildfire. Right. Yeah. Like his. The th he's the, a little late. The, the the thing he's been <laughs> carrying around his whole life, the Kingslayer, has been because of yes. what his sister just right. did. You're absolutely right. That's but a great point. He even said at one point, I'm sure, in the series, uh, we'll, I'll burn them all to the ground until there's nothing left in this world but me and you. For and you. yeah. Yeah, right? So, I mean... It, if anyone could cause Jamie to go crazy, it would be Cersei. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that she's... They're, they're, I can see the similarities, and I, I can see how it could go that way because he's growing a conscience. Brianna Tarth, we've seen him, you know, with acts of kindness towards her and yep. towards Tyrion, and he has other things in the world that ties him, ties him down. But, uh, but, to, to, do you think he's gonna kill? I don't think he's gonna kill her. I think I he made know. a choice to stand by her. I really enjoyed the scene of the map on the floor because she subtly said, "Oh, we're having this made now because it's time for us to to rule our enemies above us, below us, to the north." And he and he starts quoting things that he learned in school that they both. They both have this entire map of Westeros memorized. Yeah. yeah, they know it. They don't need it. Yeah. they That they learned from their father, not from school, because the father was grooming them to kind of take over all of Westeros. Yeah. yeah. That was creepy. So we have Jamie kind of giving Cersei the, uh, this isn't going to be as easy as you think it is. This is, yeah. we don't have any friends anymore. What are we going to do? Right. And they sort of come up with the plan, or she comes up with the plan, or somebody comes up with the plan to get... Um, you're on Greyjoy. Mm. Those ships look great. How did they build that ships. fleet so damn quickly? They don't have any trees. <laughs> There's no trees on, on the Iron Island. Islands. This makes no sense. This is a this is a suspend <laughs> suspend belief here oh, for right. they, they go in and they take the trees. And, like, and they even mention it in this episode. They're like, you're on, <laughs> I, I think Euron mentions he's like, our island has nothing but ugly people and stones. And it's like, well, how'd you build all these get boats? Yeah, they stole them. Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, and he yeah, also yes. says, this is the largest fleet that Westeros has ever seen. He could be like, lying. How did he get that? He could be lying. Anyway. He so, could be lying. Because we might be seeing uh, like what's left of the fleet, but there could have been a lot more that was taken away okay. by, you know, by the rest of the Well, I think Joyce. they took the whole fleet that was there. They had to start fresh. They had I to start remember fresh, correctly. yeah. So they probably but, became pirates and kind of stole a lot of yeah, it. Did you think that if he wasn't the largest fleet in Westeros that he would admit that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I think he's lying, and I think he's saying, he, "Yeah, we're we definitely." Proposing to a well, woman. He never exaggerates. I don't, I don't yeah, every size. man who proposes to a woman exaggerates there's a lot, there's what they have the to line. offer. I don't think. I don't think he did. I mean, think about. I mean, he does say, "So here I am with a thousand no. ships and two good hands." <laughs> Yeah, yeah so good. Oh, but he has a thousand ships, and I don't think it's something he can lie about because I there's. Think he did. How he brought them? They're not gonna count. They're also they okay. didn't bring everything. Like Cersei's not gonna have somebody count the ships. I, I mean, don't think so because they think that like okay, they didn't even say. Um, if some guy the brought Greyjoys. an army, if some guy brought an army to the Red Keep. They would, they would probably want to know how many men there were. They're always want to I'm know. I'm just saying there's a chance he's lying about how many ships he has, and I think he can probably maintain that lie because it's like, oh, here are 50 ships, but the rest are back home. Yeah. You, it, so, the, the two, so two truths, one right. lie. He was like, I yeah. have two hands. That's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I have a thousand <laughs> ships. Right. That's the so, lie. So Cersei <laughs> sends him away, and he says he's not going to come back until he brings her this a gift. gift. Mm -hmm. Another what, gift. What's the gift, guys? Well, I think Amber was suggesting it was Tyrion, which I completely agree with and don't want to steal from her. I, I do. <laughs> my first thought, my first fear is that, that he wants to give Cersei what no one else can give her, and that mm -hmm. is her brother who betrayed her. Okay. Right. Yeah. Because... He can't take Danny. Right. But he can grab an imp, he thinks, I'm sure. Because who else? It would be either Tyrion or probably Sansa. Probably one Sansa of the two. Sansa seems like so, it's so a, old at this a, point. Yeah. You, you think, think it's a person thing? You, you think he's got a dragon yeah. up oh, riding on Iron Island person, somewhere? Oh, it could not be a person, that was just my first thought. No, I, mean, I think it's going to be Tyrion. I think he's still going to be alive. 
I think it's going to be the he head of a dragon. He could try to take a dragon. Yeah. You think he, he ever could, found a dragon in his travels anywhere? But he could try to take one of their dragons. I, I think, would be bored with that, by the way. You don't want more dragons? The chat is saying the gift would be the sand snakes. Yeah, also the sand snakes, the dorms. I just don't see the sand snakes working for Cersei. Definitely one of the... I want it to be a really good gift. One of the north... I don't know, the sand snakes killed her daughter. So, like, bringing her the, the head of the sand snakes, or even that, uh, the lead sand snake there. So it's got to be, oh, it's got to be the either yeah. the north, you have the Starks, right. the east, you have Daenerys, the south, you have Dorne, and to the west, you have Highgarden. So it's going to be, I think, one of, relating to one of those four directions. All right. Um, well, does he want a yes or a no? So it's got to be Tyrion, probably, right. if he wants to marry her. And then do we get another wedding? Oh, <laughs> another she, wedding. She won't, if she marries a man, he becomes king. Right? Yeah, that would be yeah. a bad choice. That's I don't think she would do that. She would probably lead, lead have a him king. on yeah. or something and then kill him or something. So probably kill him, take his ships. Yeah. Possibly. Right. So, Yoink. so we got some ideas there. Time mm -hmm. will tell. Can mm -hmm. I ask we'll one out. question? Jamie seems very unmotivated. He says, why, do we, why should we do this? You're the ruler of maybe three kingdoms, not seven right now. You know, our children's not here. What's our dynasty? Like, why are we doing yeah. this? It seems like he doesn't really have the motivation to fight this this army anyway. And he also wants to focus on the fact that it's winter and people are starving to death, which we see later. The chat like, is saying that they that uh, he is going to bring the horn that is used to control dragons in the books. Uh, Ooh. Possibly. I think that is a good theory. Yeah. Ooh. So, also a good um, gift. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's head over to the Brotherhood Without Banners, heading mm -hmm. around uh, with the Hound. And we're finally getting uh, sort of a visual that winter is indeed in Westeros here. It's yeah. finally somewhere that's snowing that is south of the wall. Mm -hmm. I the, biggest, the best part about this scene is we now have a film clip um, talking about top knots that we can play to <laughs> every guy in Silver Lake, uh, Los Angeles, right now. You're not fooling anyone. It was yeah. also a burn on bald guys in that the was, same. It sport. was, but I feel like bald guys are like comfortable with their baldness. Well, it's people, people trying to top hide knots. it. Yeah. yeah. For nobody, the record, though, nobody wants to be bald. <laughs> I like top knots, people. though. For the record. You have to have a certain amount of confidence there we go. to pull it off. I've, that is the so, first yeah. time I have ever heard those words. <laughs> You're welcome. Stated. Yeah, yeah, you pretty okay. much, like, the no, whole room we... was silent there for a second. Top nuts, <laughs> hit me up. Ask him <laughs> Unless you're wearing... <laughs> If you're wearing a samurai outfit, you're good with the top knot. If you're not, you got to cut it off. <laughs> oh, so um, we come across this house that the Hound obviously recognizes. Mm. It's been a little while since he's been here, guys. Do you, Do you recognize it? Is Does it... anyone? I don't know what. Do I didn't know? recognize it. Did you? This, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, and they showed it in the previously on okay. Game of Thrones, before the episode. Yeah, uh, I was... Uh, I did not see the previously on, but <laughs> yeah. it was the um, when Ari and the Hound were together. They came across this this place, and uh, the old man and his daughter, or the man and his daughter, fed them, mm -hmm. and then the Hound oh, just robbed them, robbed their silver. And didn't he? Back. Yeah, didn't did he like? Did he hurt the man? I can't remember. Yeah, he hit him in the head. He hit him in the head and yeah. just took it. Did he t take his gold and his food? I can't oh, remember. But he definitely sword. robbed him. But even yeah. like taking anything from them and finding them starved is like. You, you killed them. Well, he, so he killed them. Well, yeah. back in the, back then, he knew that was their fate, and he didn't care. Right. He knew. That's why he like, said they don't have anything. Yeah, dead men don't need silver, is what he said. And uh, now he's it's just right. it's just more evidence that he's he's grown a conscience, and now he has a, a bigger, better, more noble part to play in this story. Great, that's a good catch. This was sad. Oof. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to boil that down to a little. No, I mean that made this sense. Is sad, but <laughs> yeah, man. I did think it was like, wow, <laughs> he's he's being especially noble right now, which is strange for him. I thought that at first too. I was like, oh, he doesn't want to bother anybody. <sighs> right. Like yeah. he's already messed with people before. He's over that. But then they went in there, and I was like, oh wait, it no. was his conscience. Yeah. He's and you know, here. I didn't even truly really see it as noble, like him burying the bodies. Like, what good does that do? The only thing that that does is it really has Respect. nothing to do with them. No, it's he's doing it to make himself feel better because he's feeling bad. Oh yes, you oh, know yeah. he's really just like God. I have this conscience him. now. He's trying. Yeah, to, like, but but when I didn't do recognize, I didn't recognize the place. So like to me, it was like. Wow, he's being very noble. He's <laughs> just like uh, just, finding just bodies yeah, well. and burying them because he believes that they should be. But the idea that they're connected to it makes mm -hmm. a lot more sense. 
and it humanizes him a lot more because it's like, oh, he feels bad for himself. And he's trying to make. And he can see into the yep. flames now. So now yeah, he, he he's can. on board. That was also important. For a purpose. The first time that he's ever really had a purpose other yeah. than other than Arya, really. Mm-hmm. So he found the seven. Now he's finding the Lord of Light. What is going on here? Yeah, and it's interesting that like he even brings it up. I hate that I'm I'm dealing with flame worshippers. Uh, the guy who's most afraid of flames. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. should have seen that coming. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, and yeah. he's he's scared to death of fire because of because of his burns. Yeah. And the the thing that he sees in the fire sounds exactly like the castle that John is talking about. Um, of the East of Watch the by Watch. the Sea, East yeah. Watch by Which the Sea, which we forgot to mention, he sent Tormund and the Wildlings to East right. Watch by the Sea. So it sounds like he's castle, predicting this assault yeah. on East Watch by the Sea, which mm-hmm. might be coming up. Which, which we've all talked about. I mean, when we had that hard home episode and we saw them in the water and everything, I know we were we were debating. We were like, "Looks like they can swim. Why don't they just go around the wall?" Well, mm-hmm. it looks like that's going to be happening now that yeah. Bran has gone through the wall. Sort of has lost its magic, maybe mm-hmm. with that mark. Now they can just swim around since they can't climb over. Mm-hmm. It's all kind of coming together there. See, that's what I'm saying. If there's a wall and there's the edge to the wall, I'm going to go around the edge. It's the easiest yeah, way to go, right? Absolutely. Instead of going through it, you just go around. A lot of people believe that like the wall's always kind of melting and refreezing and that the melted wall was in that water, and that's oh. what prevented them from just going around the wall. Oh. Okay. Interesting. It would be nice if they actually yeah. say that. Rather than have that yeah. be a fan theory. Well, we definitely have Benjen in the previous episode. It goes, there's old spells written into the wall. That's yes. why I can't go through. Yep. Yeah. So thinking of that's melted through. But um, yeah, so he sees the wall. He sees an arrow shaped, an arrowhead shaped mountain. And he sees the dead marching past. Yeah, do we know what that arrowhead shaped mountain is? I can't Not entirely it. sure off the top of my head. If anyone in the chat has any idea of what that could be, uh, let us know. Oh, they will know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what, what what could be? The, arrow, the arrowhead-shaped mountain. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then we go to Old Town. You mentioned this uh, nice... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what was happening. All that those was... liquids, they all look the same. <laughs> that would be awesome Sam if that Wells... wasn't gross. It's Samwell's edition of Stomp, now on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam is... Uh, he's... He's cleaning. Yeah, he's doing the dirty work, literally, yeah. um, at the Citadel. You know, he's working his way up. He's got to start at the bottom. He's cleaning. He's he, he's scrubbing out everything. You don't have he's, time for this, though. And um, But he notices there is a book behind a gate in a restricted area. And he yeah. goes and he's talking to the Archmaester, who I'm not sure if we have a name for yet, except he's for Archmaester. He's actually Archmaester Marwin, because I looked him up on, on IMDb. Because I was mm. like, I love that actor. I love yep. Jim Broadbent, and I wanted to make sure I knew who that was. Marwin. And it, it was great to have him there. Absolutely. And uh, so Archmaester Marwin is that character. Okay. Um, I wasn't sure if they said it in the episode, but Marwin. Yeah. Got it. Awesome. So he believes Sam. And Sam's story about the others being in the North, where most people think he's crazy. But right. at the same time, what you were saying earlier, Dave, is that everybody's like, the wall stood through all this bad stuff. It's going to stand through this. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. <coughs> Climate change. <laughs> <laughs> climate change. He's a climate change denier, yeah. this uh, Archmaster. <laughs> what's, what's funny the on the other end of that coin? The mountain is Blagonstone, the birthplace of the children. Oh, oh, great. Mm. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you, chat. Bl- Blagonstone? Blagonstone. Blum, blum, blum. That's Blagonstone. a name. Blagonstone. Blagonstone. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Brumpkins and snarks. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... So he believes him, and then we get yes. the Archmaster saying it's just going to stand. And yeah, he believes that they're the dead are coming, but it's not a big deal, which yeah. is kind of incredible. Mm-hmm. That that's that's his point of view. He works with the dead all the time. Yeah. He just yeah. seems to be. It, it was cool how they illustrated how they're they're all scientists. He even says we doubt everything. It's yeah. our job. I mean, that's their that's. They're supposed to not believe people when they say stuff until they provide proof, some yeah. kind of evidence. Um, I wanted to touch on something, though. I don't know if you were about to, but when Sam Sorry, sees man. the book in the restricted area, absolutely, and he sees it's an open book, and there's an illustration in it, and I noticed, pictures. I noticed something that looked celestial, almost like it would be a solar or lunar eclipse. And I think that's going to play a role. Um, it, looked, it looked like an eclipse of some kind, whether it's going to be lunar, like a blood moon, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or a solar eclipse that either, either gives more power to the uh, to the Night King, or takes away power from the dragons. I don't know, Maybe but it's a but season. an eclipse 
It could be a season. It looked, could ah. be seasons too. Yeah, it could be it seasons. Could be about the winters. You know mm. what? Yeah, to explain the winters. A lot of celestial stuff. Night. We have, but it we looks... had the comet in season two. We've had some other stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Could something be. something celestial, I think, is going to play a role. Good catch. And those light fixtures in the library, you know, are those celestial things at the top those. of the show. The yeah. I one I love uh, Old Town because it kind of showed that Sam went there to gain information right away. But he showed up to this place that's moving in slow motion. Yes. It's moving, so he had to start at the very bottom. Yeah, he's he a pledge. Just become a master, like <laughs> Mr. Red Ray. <laughs> he's pledging. So he also yeah. sees in the book that the Mountain of Dragonglass is at Dragonstone. Yeah. Didn't we all know that already? I mean, you would, you would, <laughs> you would think. If yeah. people I think I knew that, too. Like, doesn't everybody know that? that? Like, but Dragonstone has been so irrelevant for so long. It's like go. us talking about, you know, Hey, do you have your copper chisel so I can, you know? It's like, no. What are you talking about? Like, use a power tool. Like, people don't use primitive stones anymore. So yeah, but if I know it's at the cop, if, if it's at the <laughs> copper mountain, <laughs> copper still <laughs> island over there, <laughs> like I think I'll know yeah. where it is. I love it. I love That's a good it. Point. So at the end there, uh, he's sort of going through the. Sick ward yeah. prison yeah. thing? Yeah. Quarantine. Quarantine. Contagious pe- yeah, yeah, quarantine. quarantine we study. get um, something that subtitles ruin for us. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, subtitles. Come on. So, here's, a, here's the thing. When you watch subtitles, like it, it says, who says each title? <laughs> so we saw That'd Jorah be... before we saw before Eddie. I was talked. so surprised. I guess yeah. I wasn't We're, I was paying surprised by the to... name Jorah. Yeah. No, but like when I heard his voice, that was the first time that I realized it was him. Like I guess right. I wasn't paying attention to the ca- closed so, caption. Yeah. So last it's, we saw Jorah, it was Daenerys was saying, I command you to find the cure. Yes. So where does so, he go to find the cure? But like the science the had the yeah, yeah. The Citadel. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, so it seems like the best place. Makes sense. So he is there, and he is asking if she has arrived yet. Cut to Daenerys. Who has arrived. Who is arriving at Dragonstone. But yep. wait, do you guys parts. think Sam's going to help Jorah cure him? I mean, maybe. If he, if he, I think he's kind of more concerned about the walking dead right now. Who, did, like... sh- who did Shireen tell? or who? We had a little talk about curing or stopping stuff with Shireen, the... the, the um, Oh, Stannis Gray is, scale. Stannis' um, daughter. Yeah, so yeah. W- Sam wasn't part of that. Yeah, that was part of the, uh, was the Red Woman and Shireen, that, right? Yeah. And I'm trying to remember who was involved in those conversations. I oh, think, so Sam might at least be able to tell Jora somebody about has stopped it. That someone has stopped it because, because they were at the wall before yeah. Sam left. So mm-hmm. Sam a- so, knows her at least. Yeah, absolutely. So that is interesting. Anyway, I think it's going to happen. We need more Jorah. I think what might end up happening is because of that, Jorah might go to meet up with the Red Woman up on by the wall. Well, actually, she left. John kicked her out. She's oh, exiled. Right. She's so, exiled. So she's heading south, so we don't know where she is at so, the moment. So, right. But yeah, maybe they'll meet up. We'll find her. I don't know. Yeah. So Daenerys arrives on Dragonstone next to what looked like a mountain of dragon class to me. Um, <laughs> I just love Dragonstone looks so cool because even the rocks look like scales. Yeah, it had a nice little. It's everything a had it's got a the good sheen. Look it's to it. the dragon glass rocks, right? Because so many years of the dragons breathing on those rocks turned it all. Right. To... Well, it's underneath. I think there's like a mine of dragon glass, so yeah. it's probably volcanic. Popping I think it's like it. volcanic glass type okay. of thing. Right. I don't awesome. think it's actually it. made from dragons. <clears throat> Obsidian sure. to the geological <laughs> enthusiast. You started the off rocks. sounding smart. I know, right? <laughs> to, the ge- to the rock guy. So you guys were talking a little bit afterwards. You had a problem with her just walking into Dragonstone, huh? Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, did. I, I, I kind of did because, like, all right, here we go. We have this big old castle uh, that's completely abandoned. Why isn't there at least, like, some homeless people in there? Like, where is everybody? Like, nobody's there. I, Stannis left nobody behind. Nobody knew that Stannis' army was defeated and that Dragon, Dragonstone was completely unmanned. It's not a very welcoming place. Right. It's Actually, cold. I, I it's saw it differently. Stones. I felt like the... She, you know, I felt like this was Daenerys' homecoming. She gets there. Oh, she's yeah. touching everything. She loved it. She's yeah. putting she her hand between dragons. her hands. Tyrion loved she it, too, because he not. loves dragons. Sit in the throne. She averts her eyes because this realizes, I think, immediately this isn't the goal. I'm not really home and I didn't conquer anything. It's just. I'm going to sit till the job's done. Yeah. 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 Now it begins. She'll probably sit next week. That was like a test of ego. Mm. She was like, Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. This isn't right yet. Correct. She was scoping out. She was tearing down the old Stannis banner, the flaming heart. How cool is that table that, like, 
a stone that table. table. That table is maybe beautiful. Maybe the shape of Westeros. It is, it is in yeah. the shape of Westeros because yeah. that's what Stannis used previous too. So we kind of that table as well as the floor. Yeah. <laughs> so this is where her ancestors landed. In uh, I'm, I'm sorry, King's Landing is where they landed. Uh, this is their ho- home. Yeah, right. right she there. was their born old there. Ancestral she home. Was born there. So um, she is. She's back, and this is pretty cool to her. So um, it's going to be neat. And now she is sitting atop the power that John and all the North wants. Right. Mm-hmm. So interesting things will happen, um, which I guess can lead us into some predictions for next week, right? Yeah. Oh, boy, basically, what's going about? Can we hit that? Can we hit those predictions? And now. Your After Buzz TV prediction. Prediction. Dragon glass, dragon glass, dragon glass. No, the yeah. queen is here. Who is going to side with her? Who is not going to side with her? What do you guys think is going on? Mm. Mm. Well, one thing that we saw in the uh, <laughs> next, in next next week that we're pretty excited for is a certain wolf might be coming back. Woo! And do you want to talk about this? Why don't you talk about it? Because you were super excited about it. My dire wolf might be back. Yeah. Nymeria. Yeah, Nymeria. It looks like the wolf that's in the next week on is gray or brownish, grayish grayish, brownish. So isn't ghost. So I think. Ghost is white with red eyes. Ghost is white. Mm -hmm. So I think this is another dire wolf. We don't know what happened to ghost, right? Arya. Uh, Probably Arya's wolf, right? uh, Yeah, we think it's. We're hoping it's Arya's wolf. Because Arya's wolf, Nymeria, is has been going around Westeros and is a big part of the books. For those of you who haven't seen, or haven't read the books, yeah. that is part a big part of the books is Nymeria uh, rounding up other wolves and create wrecking havoc. Yeah, mm. becoming kind of the queen lines. of the wolves. So, and Arya is around the place where Nymeria would be. So it would be great if they meet up. And it looks like mm-hmm. that scene where the wolf is. Barking for like a second that Arya is. The oh, that's an shot editing that. trick, right? I know, there. but editing it looked like it's trick. like snow and snow. Like it could be the same. <laughs> right, right, right. Area. The editors are like, hey, my I'm hopes are mess very with high now. Yeah. Very high. That was I feel the like biggest like. Crush like me, ooh. But I, it's they're very high now. Yeah. Um, awesome. I love it. Yeah, it seemed like in the previews where it's, it's all going to be about um, where the lines are drawn. Who's going to side with who and where and, yeah. wh- and how it's going to happen. So And Cersei's only calling Daenerys the Mad King's daughter. She's not calling her by all the other names that we've heard pe- through the other seasons. Oof. I think Arya's going to travel with that band of merry men uh, <laughs> for a while. Sing some songs. I, you know, they join, just, their join faces with... were too distinct to be forgotten too soon. They're so. going different places. Also, yeah. I don't think they can afford Ed for that long. <laughs> it's my <laughs> prediction. I like it. Um, Solid prediction. Yeah, she yeah. did take I a look at their swords. You know, it'd be nice if they just dropped them off at Hot Pie's place and just, like, keep on going. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think no matter what, Cersei's going down this season. I think we can all agree with that. This season, you think? Yeah. This season? I mean, she's, I don't know. she's the enemy, so if we lose her, like, I'll kind of be sad because I feel like she's the main villain at this point, who I hate more than everyone else. Except for the Night King. So if we, you're right. So if we lose her, then we don't have the main villain who I hate. Well, it seems like this will be a this season will be the battle for control of the throne, and the mm-hmm. next season will be the battle with the others. Yeah, um, possibly. So who knows? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this After Buzz TV after show. Yes. Uh, I'm going to watch that episode again. It yeah. is great is it over? to be good back, over? everybody. I guess so. Oh. It's a lot. <laughs> Kill everyone! Ah. Ah. Game of Thrones episode! There we go. Oh my ah. gosh. <laughs> that was a real knife. <laughs> yeah. For those listening, uh, knife she just threw a dagger. Show. Awesome. Awesome. We are uh, excited it's back. We're glad you guys are back here with us. Make sure that you uh, listen to us on iTunes, subscribe. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that like button, click that subscribe button. Make sure you follow along with us all season. We'll be here every week for the next... For six, six more weeks. Six, six yeah. more weeks. <laughs> so, uh, of winter. Awesome. My name's Kyle Maddock. You can find me at Kyle Maddock on Twitter. I'm Kristen Snyder. You can follow me at Cinematic Escape. And I'm Dave Child. You can find me at MRDaveChild or DaveChild.com. I'm Dave Child. (laughs) (laughs) Valador Harris. I'm Ryan Malady. You can find me at Ryan Malady everywhere. I am your chat maester. My name is Amber Plaster. You guys can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Amber Plaster. Thanks for being here. I love it. Awesome. Join us next week for some more slaying. (laughs) 
from executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. <laughs> but not today. The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.